Here's a simple trick you can use to make sure you're always on the right side of the markets. Forex Factory is a really nice site that I like to use to see what's on deck in terms of key economic events for the week. You can see, for example, today, if we scroll through this upcoming week, we can see that on Monday, we don't have anything major scheduled. If we come into Tuesday, April 1st, we can see we have ISM numbers, we have JOLTS openings. So Tuesday, we expect a little bit more volatility, some key events and results that we're waiting for, ADP numbers on uh, Wednesday. So we have lots of key critical events this week, and it's hard to keep track of them. Now, if you come in every single morning to Forex Factory and you are diligent about that, then you might really be able to keep it at the top of your mind to know, hey, today X, Y, and Z is coming out. If you don't have that luxury, ChatGPT released a really cool feature, which I think is quite useful for this. It's called ChatGPT with scheduled tasks. You can find that in this drop down up here. So I selected GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks, and I was trying to make this my own quote unquote personal assistant. I started by saying, hey, give me a briefing, and this was just a test at 310. It didn't really work, so I started to tweak it a little bit more. And here's what I came up with, which does work. You can create a new task. I gave that task the name Provide S&P 500 News. I gave it very little context. I just said, I'm a day trader. Your task is to provide me with a daily briefing every morning that helps me become a more informed trader. You have two tasks. Task one, tell me the latest news related to the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Dow. And it does this using its normal browser querying mechanisms and any other data it has access to. So that's task one. We're telling GPT, hey, you tell me what the news is. Task two, we're very clearly telling it, go to Forex Factory and tell me all of the key events and economic uh, releases scheduled for the day. I've also scheduled this to run every single day at 6 a.m. So now you don't need to know how to code or anything to create what are triggers, time-based triggers. So every morning at 6 a.m., you'll get a briefing, which looks similar to this. So let's take a look at the most recent briefing. So here's the briefing from Sunday. Nothing too eventful, but you'll see how it breaks it down. You get a task one breakdown, and then you have a task two breakdown for any key events. Now, these messages get sent directly to either your email or your phone via a notification. So in essence, you have this delivering to your mobile device. You have an assistant that's running two different tasks for you all around getting the latest news events for the day. And you're making sure this gets delivered to your inbox before the markets open 6 a.m. Pacific, 30 minutes before the markets open. Very cool, neat trick that I've found that really helps you stay on the right side of the markets. It's a quick, easy way to digest what's happened overnight and what is likely to happen today, or at least what's on the docket. And you don't need to let anyone else interpret it, um, read a full email that's really long. Instead, these are small, digestible paragraphs, keeps you on the right side of the markets, and lets you focus on what you do best, which is trade. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.